Hey guys, welcome. There wasn't even there wasn't even an intro to this guys because Chris Travels hit me up. He said he was free. He's a really busy guy. You know, you guys know this. This dude is like all over Europe at the moment right now. Uh, I don't know how you even do that because like Europe is so expensive. I think you're the only person at the moment like that's just jumping around. You know, I, I literally invest all the money that I make back into the content. So bad, bro. You, you. Do, I mean, you do, I hope bro. Kick I like takes it. notice of you, though. You see, like people who like uh, are like investing a lot into their stream, Kick should be thinking about giving you guys like Kick deals. You know, the, the people are actually putting a lot, a lot into it. I just, I just want a stake deal. Bro. I just want a stake deal. I want to be like Deepak. <laughs> let me be like Deepak, saying like, like, let me be that. Doesn't matter, bro. Let me be like Gary. Um, let me be like Moises. One day it will happen. But uh, I'm not in a rush, bro. I'm not in a rush. But, you know, I've been doing this for years, dude. Like, I've been creating content for nine years. Um, this was not my first rodeo. And I just always go, 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 go. Okay, so the first time I started to create a video, I was in Australia. And I was a real estate agent. And I would listen to Gary V. So if anybody knows Gary V, Gary V is my boy. Gary V always said, listen, content over everything. Create content. No matter what you do, if you're fucking selling whatever in the streets if, if you you have nothing just create content and so i started to create content on youtube as a real estate agent telling people dude i was i was uh i was 19 years old uh, not just uh 20, 20 23 years old and i would like actually like i would i would research how to buy the best property how to sell your property and then i just create a script and then i would record myself in a suit and tell people how to do this, how to do that. You can look it up on the internet, bro. That shit blew up. And then after that, I was like, okay, real estate agent is not my thing. Then I became a YouTuber. I'm like, okay, let me start doing vlogs. So I did like, I think it was like 12 or 15 vlogs. And it was going, it was going all right, bro. But you can't just fucking, people expect that if you make content on the internet, you're going to blow up. No, you don't blow up immediately. You have to fucking grind and grind and grind and grind and grind and put, put the work into it. And then I heard a podcast where someone said, oh, if you do uh, videos in Spanish, you'll blow up. I'm like, fuck, I speak Spanish. And then I started to do videos in Spanish. And then that blew up, bro. I went viral as fuck in Australia, making videos in Spanish. And it's just slowly involved of everything. Like, I just, I just, I follow the, like, I've, I've been big on TikTok. I've been on everything, bro, everything. I just, I see the waves and what's happening. And now, right now, the wave is live streaming, bro. Um, the biggest streamers, uh, the, the, big, the biggest people in the social media that are making the most money are the ones. And so I'm just following the wave and I just, I just go with anything. But what I do, bro, I just, I, w I was, I create content, bro. Create content, no more, no matter what, bro. No matter what. So when you chose to stop doing your real estate job and you started to do content and like these videos and you wanted to live off this, what did like your I don't know if you have brothers or sisters or your family like what did they say to you? They always tell me. I mean, they they were always like, "Yeah, sure, Chris, go for it," but they thought they thought I was delirious, bro. They thought I was delirious. They thought I was delirious. They were like, "You're stupid. What the fuck are you doing?" Like, my mom always said, "Oh, Chris, I see you like to make videos and you like to create content. Um, how about you you go to university?" and learn about videography. I'm like, mom, dude, these, these people that are teaching these fucking, the, the, the people that are teaching get less views than I do. Why would I listen to them? I, I get millions and millions of views on the internet. Why would I listen to someone there that is not doing half of the shit that I'm doing? If you my, my issue with views and things like this is that it gets you in this loop of chasing it. You ever feel like that? Of course, bro. I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped. You don't get tired? I mean, like I'm telling you, I actually no. have burnout sometimes. That's why I take breaks in between uploading. No, bro. I do get burnout. I do get burnout. I, I, I understand 100%, bro. But I, I, I told this to I said in his eyes. I told I said in his eyes, I'm like, bro, I'm going to be big. And he looked at me. He was like, I don't know. He didn't like that. I'm not stopping. Like, I, I, Dude, I have, I have, I've had the most beautiful girlfriends in the past. I've had so many people that love me and all this stuff, and I've gave up that relationship and all those people for what I'm doing. Like Chris Travels is not stopping, dude. Like 
I'm so motivated what I'm doing. And yes, I burn out. And when I burn out, what I do, bro, I just, I take a couple of days off and I exercise, I exercise. You know me, bro. I exercise, I exercise. I, I fucking love to work out. If I stop working out, bro, I die. I die. I'm done. I'm done. So you first started to stream on Kick. Uh, I remember you were with a group of streamers, right? With John What's Going On, with Johnny Somali. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that, that, yeah, 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 yeah. But no, before that, bro, I was streaming on, on YouTube. I, uh, I met this guy called Fat and Broke. You know, before I was just a YouTuber, I would film everything, I would edit everything. And then I met this guy called Fat and Broke. He, he taught me about live streaming. He was like, oh, I'm live streaming. I'm like, what the fuck is that? He's like, oh, I just go live and people can see us. I'm like, wow. And then I saw he got like $10, $15, $20. I was like, what the fuck? I should do this. So I started to live stream on YouTube. And me and him, we were like um, a good team. Like he was a cool guy. But then people started to talk shit about him and like donate to me. And I was like, well, like, we donated to me, bro. I need this money. I need this money. And then eventually, John, what's going on, bro? I, I was in Laos. I was in Laos. And I was at the club, just singing, fucking having a good time. And he's like, yo, Chris. I'm like, what the fuck? You know me? He's like, in Laos, bro. Yeah, I know you, bro. I know you. I'm like, yo, what's up? I'm like, bro, I'm from Canada. I know you. All this thing. And I was like, fuck. And me and John, what's going on, became really good friends, bro. And then uh, eventually... I was in Thailand. He's like, bro, I'm staying at this ho- this this hostel, or slash like, uh, what do you call it? Like a a family home, I guess it's called. I don't know. And he's like, yo, come hang out with us. And then that's when I was with John. And then um, Johnny Somali was there. Fly boy, what's his other name? Uh, I can't remember his name, bro. Uh, Sam Pandy was there, oh. maybe, and Harrison and Sam- stuff. Sam- and Harrison, yeah, Sam Penny and Harrison. They were all, and they all had more viewers than me. They were all like, like to me. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, John, if we're going to hang out with these people, we got to start going on kick. He's like, what? I was like, yeah, bro. He's like, nah, man, I don't want to go on kick. I love you too. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go on kick. And then I started my kick channel because of them. I, um, it was, I don't know if you remember, brother, but uh, Harrison hit. <laughs> Dude, I remember all. Like, yeah. So this, this is, you, were, you had front seat. Dude, you had front seat. I remember your camera was facing it. So what happened there? So Sam Pandy was not even recording, and I got his camera like, "Bro, we gotta record this." <laughs> I, I, I was not live streaming at all. I was just like hanging out. Um, and then I saw these people like, "Bro, let's get on this." And the next thing you know, they're like, "Oh, tomorrow we're gonna be Burger Plan." I'm like, "Burger Plan, fuck, all right." I started mm-hmm. kick then, and then I I went crazy on Burger Planet channel, and I did all this crazy shit. I think. Like, but he hated it. He didn't like it because that was a little bit too much. Um, and then um, I started to hang out with Johnny Somali. We hung out together for a little bit, bro. Like, I love Johnny Somali. Like, he's a good guy. Like, he's just some crazy shit. But, like, me and him, we worked out. We, we, we did this. We did that. Uh, and then that's when I started kick. Uh, that's why Johnny Somali says, like, he made me. But he didn't make me. But, um, I, I, I appreciate what he did for me, but he didn't make me. Anyways. I mean, I, I want to say going. this to you too. Like, you just have to like go and like, I don't know. You can't take those words seriously because I, I want to show you a real example, right? I started YouTube on my own. Literally, no, no one told me to do it. I just started on my own. But when I started to stream, Gary and Nick did help me. Okay. But I still see it in my chat. People say to me, like, Nick made you. Gary made you. People don't realize that I had a YouTube channel way before that. You know, so you just have to go with it. Don't get angry, is what I'm saying. When people say that to you. No, I don't. I don't. And I respect you so much, bro. I see. I, You know what, dude? <laughs> the only thing on YouTube that I have to click on is your channel. And you're just getting better and better and better and better. I respect you so much. And thanks, man, dude. Yeah, but the thing is, we're expanding now. Like, it's not just me anymore. I've got, like, other clippers that work with me now. So it's it's getting easier also to to make the videos. That's good. That's good, bro. Because, yeah, same thing, bro. I'm trying to grow a team. I'm trying to grow a team because I can't do it myself, bro. Like, I can always Mm. be the creator. I I can't be out there fucking doing this, doing that. No, you can't. You can't. Also, wait, just hold on. Like, if you can get that stake, I'm gonna help you too. If you can get that stake deal, right? You you do need some income, okay? Let's say you got bigger. You know what you must do. No one is doing it in all of ISIS crew. 
there's this Discord server called Starlet. And what streamers do, right? They take like 5K. We're talking about $5,000, right? And they give it to Starlet. And Starlet divides that 5K over 3,000 clippers. These are clippers on TikTok, on Twitter, and Facebook. And they go wow, wild. Boy, they go wild. Some some of these guys' accounts, right, have like 1.2 million followers. Imagine your clips on those. Like, I, I, I should be a neon. I should be a fucking kid. I should... I'm I telling you, this is how people are growing now. It's not like how it used to be where you have your editor. You need a clipping squad. So when you sort yourself out, I, I know the guy who owns Starlet. So I, I can hook you up with that. You can speak to him. Please, bro. Please, please. Anything, anything you can do, bro. God bless you. Dog. That's amazing. Yeah, please, please, please. Whatever, bro. I just, I'm going to continue going. I'm going to continue going, but I need someone in the background to actually explode the little situations that I create. In these twelve-hour streams and and go viral because um I really think I can I can create something awesome, bro. And I I really I I can see it. I can see it. I can see the future, bro. The future is gonna be bright as fuck. Are you okay for me to ask drama questions? Because I got so many things to ask you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm I'm fucking I'm I'm the nicest guy. Go go ahead. I don't care. Okay, so this is where we start. Were you upset? When Johnny Somali got hit with Harrison, like, did he ask you to stand up for him? Like, to join in and fight? Dude, I didn't, I didn't even know Johnny Somali. I didn't know Harrison when that happened. Oh, I had no okay. idea. Didn't, but so, like, John, what's going on? I said, oh, we're going to hang out with some streamers. And I wasn't even streaming. So I didn't know them then. So I had mm. no idea, bro. Okay, second question. Second question. People were calling John what's going on. His name that time was Bucket, back, bucket Hat Guy. I don't know if you remember, remember this because he was wearing a round, he was wearing a beanie hat. So everyone called him bucket hat, a back, bucket hat guy, pretty much. And they said that he set up Johnny Somali as if like he gave the address to Harrison and he made sure Johnny Somali was going to be there so they would fight for content. What's your opinion? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think John is that smart to be great, bro. Like, John, John is the nicest dude. He's like, he's, he's very, um, Bro, he, he doesn't want any drama. He wants no problems. Johnny, Johnny, um, John was going to, he's the nicest dude. Like, there's no way he could actually create that. I don't think so. I think that's fake, bro. I think that's fake. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't think so. And, and and the thing is, like, all of us were so small, but we had, like, what, 60, 40 people watching us. I don't think he would be like, yeah, let me fucking do this for content. No way, bro. Okay, so that's one thing out of the way, right? Then we move across the big event that made you really viral. Who gave you the idea to go to Banyan Tree? Did you do it? Or did someone else like tell you to do it? Okay, so I'll tell you, bro. Um, me and Johnny Somali were like, let's go snipe ice, let's go snipe ice. And so I was with Johnny Somali, and he was way bigger than me, bro. Like, we were five, six, seven times bigger than me. And I said, uh, let's go, let's go stop it, let's go stop it. He's like, no, suspenders, suspenders is going to give us the introduction. Like, just chill, chill, bro. Don't, don't, don't make it, like, don't make it too obvious. I'm like, bro, we got to go snap him, we got to go snap him. He's like, no, no, like, wait for suspenders. He's going to give us the introduction. But now, in the long term of things, bro, suspenders is not even that close to ice, bro. He doesn't even want to hang out with ice. I don't know why. And uh, it was, I think it was a Thursday night or some shit. And I was like, I was watching Ice. And he said, oh, my God, with the lady boys, I can't find any later boys, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I told I told Johnny Simone, I'm like, I'm going to go Ice. If you don't want to come, it's up to you, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it in, um, in a lady boy outfit. And he was like, okay, whatever. He didn't think I was going to do it. And then I did it. And the next thing you know, we were fucking all cut up. Like, the whole situation was crazy. I think I taste me because of it, but I, I, I meant no, nothing, no harm, bro. That's when everything, that's, that's when my life changed. And then after that, Johnny Somali was like, bro, you're there, bro. Like, let me, let me show up, let me show up. I'm like, no, bro, don't show up. Like, we're in trouble right now. Please, don't do anything stupid. Please, please, just, like, chill. And then he comes up like, I'm the fucking, I'm Chris Savo's uh, attorney. Blah blah blah, and I'm like this idiot, bro. Uh, 
and that's how it all happened, bro. It just, I don't know. There's some, some, something inside me that I just, I just want to go and do things. Like, but like in the situation, with the situation when you were in that jail there, were all of you in a group or were you like by yourself? Like, did you have to like get? It was. It was. It was I decided to come out. He packed and me, us four, and it was just like a little box in a jail cell. And um, there was a little bucket where you can like take a shit and pee. And then uh, dude, ice was just like like this, just laid down. And then there was Kimmy, bro. Kimmy was on the other jail cell because she was a girl. And then uh, ice was just like laying in bed, like I don't want to talk to anyone. What the fuck is going on? And then me and and Cube and. And Deepak were like, this is kind of borderless. Let's play some games. So we started to play Squid Game in the jail cell. And uh, like, Squid like, Game. Like, you know, like, <laughs> red light, red light, yellow light. Like, we started to play Squid Games in the jail cell, just having fun because we had nothing else to do. Bro. I mean, you run out of fucking, like, you run out of fucking ideas when you're, you don't have a phone, you don't have a fucking life stream, you have nothing. And all of us are like ADHD, you know, Deepak. Uh, I see everyone's like fucking want to do something. Those are like you. They, they're all just thinking about the content. Back then, I didn't even know, bro. Now I get it. Now I get it. And so yeah, bro, we just fucking do like just creating little games here and there, and then we did a little bit of push-ups and all this shit, and then eventually we got out. Yeah, how did you feel like so, when you got the news? Because like everyone was scared, right? Whether they were gonna get big problems happening to them, like stuck in Thailand. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we were gonna go be in jail for five years, but that was that was the, the verdict: five years in jail. Uh, but we got lucky, bro, because they they dropped the charges and, and we're all good. So your your so record then, bro, is clean. Had... There's nothing on your name about this. No, no, no. We have, we have probation for two years, so I cannot go back to Thailand for two years. That's why I haven't gone to Thailand. I think in another six months I'll be good. But you have to, dude. This back then, bro, I had no money. I was like broke as shit. Can you please? And you pay a thousand dollars um to pay for my bail and he was like he laughed he's like <laughs> you don't think i got a thousand dollars i'm like no no like please please he's like yeah i got you i got you so i pay for my bail and i didn't know how big we i didn't know that he was a billionaire i had no idea bro. i had no idea so yeah he paid, he paid for my bail shout out to ice bro let's fast forward Continue. so then you also ended up in egypt and I got to ask a hard question. So you're in Egypt and you're streaming with another lady, right? Uh, hip, hip, hip. Yeah, so what happened there? Well, I mean, I, I went to Egypt with her because she, okay, I, I met Hebe before this whole thing happened. And um, she, she's a queen, all right? She's a queen. She's from China. Beautiful girl. But, uh, bro, you know that. You know this, bro. You, you can't have a girlfriend when you're live streaming. It's impossible, bro. Like, imagine you just me creating content, just traveling the world. We kind, we kind of lost you for, but <laughs> okay. So I, I know what you're saying it's difficult for you to, it's difficult for you to, to have a relationship have a if you're going to different places. But it's not only that. The chat doesn't like it. The chat hates the fucking girlfriends. Yeah, because what you guys built, you guys built it on Riz, Riz, Riz. <laughs> so that's all they want. Well, <laughs> I know, bro. I know. Like it's even fucking, right now, so like your chat, like doesn't like you even sitting down and talking to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. They love you, bro. You guys, be nice. But they fucking, they're just, uh, they want me to go and talk to bitches. Like that's all they want me to do, bro. But they think I'm like, I don't know what the fuck they think I am, but they think I'm like the man. And like I can talk to anyone and get so much pussy, but. It's actually really hard when you have a fucking selfie stick and a camera and go up to a girl. Yeah, and like, hey. that's true. That's true. You got that stick. Like that. It's actually worse because like you get it right in their faces and they're like, oh, the glare is hitting yeah. me. So it's I, uncomfortable. I, I get that it's well. uncomfortable, but I try my best. I try my best always. Yeah. But you that's were the, at least in Egypt, you were the streamer though. Like there wasn't many streamers, right? That went to the pyramids, oh, no, no. Sphinx and all those things. So it's good you got that. You actually oh, got that. Cool, huh? Yeah, that was cool. I was cool, yeah. I don't think I, I've seen a lot of people go to Egypt. Um, and then that's what I want to do, like, to tell the truth, bro. Like, my job is to travel, bro. Like, I'm not called Chris Travels out of coincidence. Like, I called myself Chris Travels because I really fucking travel, bro. I travel the <laughs> world. And um, the next thing that's happening, bro, is 
I don't know if you have seen, but me and Captain G, we're we're gonna go on a on a funeral car and travel around eight countries in a funeral car. But I think that's gonna be epic. So he bought like the Ghostbusters car. You talk about that, like the Ghostbusters car, right? Bro, you see the game? It's like yeah. Yeah. To the future car, bro. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> and I think that's, I don't know, bro. I've created a lot of content, but I think that's going to be very, very, very um, unique. Very unique. very unique. Okay, but you were doing some content with Sam Pepper. How was that? Yeah. Dude, Sam, I have nothing bad to say about Sam. I think Sam is a great person. I think he's very clever, very smart. He didn't get, out, get there out of coincidence. But what happened dude is um i was with him for over two and a half months and i needed a break bro. i needed a break i wanted to take a break do what i want to do because when i'm hanging out with sam it's he did takes he did big takes everything we got to follow whatever he has to say and i just i needed i, I didn't want to do it and i told him listen bro like um and i appreciate you and love you but like can i just take a, a one week break let me do my own thing and he said no Either you fucking stay or you're never going to collaborate with me again. And I said, all right, I'm done. So the reason for the fight, I'm trying to work this out because I've heard different sides. So I need to get your side. Pretty much you saying the fight was because you didn't get the break that you needed. It had nothing to do with, because in the... Also, also, he didn't didn't pay me, bro. He didn't pay me. He didn't pay me. So, um... Why why does DBR say... That Sam gave you 7K. So Sam gave me 7K for the first Rizathon, which was for a month. Okay. Dude, I make more than 7K a month right now. Um, and then the next month, I hang out with him. This motherfucker made me pay flights to Argentina for three days. And he said, mm-hmm. no, Chris, you can't get no, like, you, you can't get economy. You got to get first flights uh, for first, uh, for whatever, whatever it's called, first for first first class seats and he's like but i'm not paying for it you have to pay for it i'm like okay fine i spent way more money than i made with this motherfucker and then we were in cartagena and he said i'm he's like he's like oh i'm not gonna go live today i'm like okay fine bro let me go live he's like yeah you can go live don't worry and he's and then uh, i was gonna go live and he said no chris how about how about i go live and then you take my camera and then I'm going to tell you what to say in an earpiece. And I'll give you, I give, he said, yeah, I think it was like $1,000 on stake to gamble. And you'll make more money than like what you would on your stream. I'm like, okay, fine. So I took his fucking stupid ass stream, bro. He was telling me what to say, like a dumbass, blah, blah, blah. I got back on stake, right? And I was like, fine, whatever. I, I streamed for like eight, nine hours. I don't know what the fuck it was. And I was like, okay, now I get to do stake, fine. And then I just went fucking a thousand dollars switch that shit into two thousand i'm like fuck i'm getting crazy wow amazing all right give me the money he never gave me the money for that this motherfucker owned me like so much money and i i it's not even about the money bro because now money means nothing money now no means nothing because now i'm in the kcip god bless kcip but this motherfucker played with my feelings i i gave him my energy my time Instead of giving it to my people, my fucking people that love me and they care for me. And I create, I'm the one creating the content, not him. And that's why I fucking left this guy. So I were you, were you pause, pause. Talk. Were you really going to smash that computer? You know, and you guys were, were Yeah, wrestling. bro. I did. I did, bro. I did. I did. But I, I hold myself together, bro. Come on, Sam. When's the, when was the last time Sam hit the fucking gym, bro? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not weak, bro. People think I'm weak. I was so like... I try my best not to fucking smash this guy in the fucking face. And he, he, there's no way this guy's not with it. Um, but it, it, it's so like you you understand from the viewer's point of view. For us, it didn't look real because we seen two guys wrestling in those weird. No, I don't I know, know why you guys even wear I wear those things. No, no, you you get what I'm going. I'm talking about the attire. Th- that clip, people couldn't even post that clip up because the way you guys were dressed. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, he was dressed like that, bro. Not me. <laughs> Dude, I dressed like that because of him. I dressed like that because of him, bro. Like, I dressed like that because of him. And, dude, when's the last time that Sam collaborated with someone for more than two months? 
there's no one else. No one, no one can stand the guy. I was the only one that I was like, he's like, let's do this, let's do that. And I was, I was there for it, bro. I was sleep stream. I would do everything for him. I would do everything for him. Like I was, I was, I'm a hard working motherfucker. But then he he took it too long, bro. He took it too long, and I couldn't stand anymore. I just so let's let's fast forward again. So the the time we went to the club to go slap him, how did that come about? So, okay, so that was the next day, right? And I was like, this motherfucker owes me like six thousand, three thousand. I don't know, like so many so many dollars. And then um, I went live finally, bro. I haven't been live for two weeks, three weeks, because of him. He was like, no, don't go live. And I finally went live. My shit was going off. Blah, blah, blah. Yo, you you've been mistreated for the whole fucking two months, Chris. What the fuck is going on, like Chris? Like you're finally back, blah blah blah. I'm like, yo, guys, I'm back, I'm back. Fuck this guy, I'm done, I'm done. And someone said, oh, you go slap him. And I had no money, bro. I had no money. This motherfucker didn't pay me. So I said, all right, I'll do it. I just found the guy and I fucking slapped the shit out of his face, bro. So you didn't think about like, okay, I'm in this foreign country and if I attack somebody, what if I end up in jail again? Nah, bro, I don't give a fuck. What about like kick? You didn't think like they would ban you for fighting pretty much? Well, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know about kick. I did, I did get banned after that. I actually, ABC reached out to me like Chris. He kind of crossed the line, bro, about you're banned for three days. And I got banned for three days, but deserves that shit, bro. I did it because, not not because anything, because he deserves that, bro. Because of the way that he treated me, he deserves that shit. He deserves that shit, bro. He treated me like like a peasant when I did so much for the guy. But also, this was strange because you guys had that fight and then you guys separated. But then I saw a clip of you and DBR in the airport. Mm-hmm. That must have yeah, been DBR. So me and DBR, we were flying from, I think it was from, um, I think it was from somewhere, somewhere in South America to the Netherlands. And he was in the same fucking flight with me. And bro, I like, I had to like keep my eyes out. I was like, this guy's going to kill me or whatever. And he put me out in the corner. He's like, Chris, I need to talk to you. I'm like, all right, let's talk. He's like, what you do? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, bro, chill out, chill out, bro. Step away from me. Um, and then he's like, fuck you. And he just left. We didn't really have a good conversation. But you know what's so sad, bro, is like um, when, when, when Sam, when I was with Sam, TBDR would message me and Sam would be like, don't listen to this guy. Like, ignore him, blah, blah, blah. But I always told CD, bro, bro, just show up, just show up. Just snipe us. Doesn't matter, bro. Like, I believe in you. If you really want to do it, just do it. And then um, now, now they're best friends. And now you you have you reached out to either of them to try and squash it? Yeah, I did. I did. I had a conversation with Sam. Um, he thinks I'm stupid. He thinks I'm dumb. He thinks I'm delirious, which is okay. I don't really give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know what Because you go to Thailand. They all live in Thailand. So they like, I mean, like, let's ask the question. Do you think you'll see Sam again? Like, in person? Fuck. I think I will, bro. I think I will. I'm going to go. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up and be like, what's up? What's up, bro? I think, I think it would, it would blow up the, the internet. That's why I would do it. I'm not doing it because. I want to see him again, but I think it will be good for content. You stream with one of my friends, Pablo Ventura. How was that? Oh my God, he's your friend. I love Pablo. Ah, did you see what happened between me and Pablo? Oh my yes. God. Yes. My mother, he got good. Oh, he's a good guy, bro. I love Pablo. Pablo's a good dude, bro. I'm so sad about what happened because we were supposed to create more content, but because of that, it kind of like slowed shit down. Damn, I love Pablo. Pablo's a good dude, bro. Like in person, you meet Pablo and he's legendary, bro. He's he's actually. I think he's same. Decent, From decent what I saw, he's like calm, collected dude. But like this guy tried to beat both of you up. Why was he trying to hit you guys? Well, he was like, at first he's like he he was <laughs> he was like give this girl some money. I'm like okay, I'll give her some money, but you give her some money. He's like I already give her money. I'm like how much money do you give her? And I was like he was like I don't know blah blah blah. I was like, okay, I'll give her money. I gave her money, and then he took the money out of the girl's hand and put it in his pocket. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, that's the money for her, you stupid idiot. 
and he started to attack us, and that's that's how it all happened. This motherfucker, I was giving money to someone that was poor, and he took the money out of her hand, and then he started to attack us after that. Fucking idiot. And then, uh, dude, like, to tell you the truth, bro, like, I, I go through so many of these situations. When people are trying to attack me, blah, 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 I just step away. I'm done trying to fight. I'm trying to do this because KCIP, bro. If I do KCIP and there's anyone fighting, it's like not even me. If I record anyone fighting, all of us get banned. And so, so just, I step away. I step away. Okay, I, I get this. Okay, I, as I said, this is not my opinion, but I have to always ask yeah. you things based on the other side. Uh, some people felt that you left Pablo for dead. What would you say to that? Yeah, bro. I didn't, bro. I didn't. I didn't. Like he didn't. He didn't get punched in the face, ruined his ankle by mistake. Um, but no, I, I didn't. I didn't leave him behind. What do you want me to do, bro? Like I'm out of there. I think Pablo could could take care of himself. Like if someone comes attack me, I, I I'm not gonna be like, yo, bro, what the fuck? Where's my people? Like, like get him, get him. I'm like, nah, bro. I, I fucking take care of myself. You, you take care of yourself. I just step away, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get banned. I don't want not, no problems, bro. I don't want problems. Just step away. And he was trying to step away. It's just someone stepped on his fucking ankle. And yeah, it's unfortunate. What happened to him? Unfortunate because yeah, yeah. yeah, he was moving backwards when the guy dropped him. So yeah, I get. He was, bro. He doesn't want problems. Come on, you know Pablo. Pablo's a good dude. He doesn't want. I was surprised. Listen, Chris, the whole situation was weird. I've watched Pablo for almost a year. The dude has zero altercations. So, like, when I saw this, I was like, I I turned on the stream and the dude was in hospital. What the hell happened to you? You know? So, so. but but, okay, that's what I'm saying. After that, I took him to the hospital. I was fucking taking Mm. him around. I'm a good friend, bro. I'm a good friend, but confrontations and all that shit, I step away. Unless it gets serious, then I'm down to business. But I don't, I don't want any problems. But Wait, let me ask you this. So much, so let me let me ask you this. There's so much. Do you think your chat enjoys that kind of drama? Because it's happened to you a few times. Sam with Pablo, uh, even in Colombia, okay, I saw look, look, some. Listen. Even right now in Europe, today's video I put out has a clip of another. Like you seem to have these issues every country you go to. Do you notice this? It's because, bro, I'm live for fucking 12, 15 hours. So there's going to be something that's going to happen. Like, I don't, I don't create this. I don't, I don't promote this. Mm-hmm. It just happens to me. And uh, what I've noticed is that now I, I, I'm, I'm able to control it a little bit better. You know, like, for yeah. example, there was recently yeah. happening in Portugal. Some guy said, if you don't give me some money, I'm going to stab you in the fucking face. Oh, my God. And then I go, like, what the fuck? Like, I just step away. Okay, okay, tell me more, tell me more. Like, it's, you just got to play with it, and it's what happens, bro. I'm live streaming 12, 15 hours a day. It's, it's going to eventually happen when you're hanging out with these fucking stupid-ass people. Um, you got to just learn how to do it properly. Before, before I would get into uh, wrestle and do all this shit, but now I'm like, I have so much at stake. I have so much that I will lose if I go and attack these people. But if they attack me, I'm fucking prepared, bro. I, I, I work out, bro. I take care of my body. I don't look like this out of coincidence, bro. So if, I'm down. I'm down to throw throw hands, but I'm not the first one to go and like, like push people and do that kind of shit. Yeah, you go. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Chris. You should be protecting your stream more than throwing hands with anyone. Because you exactly, build something. Bro, exactly. Right now, you build yeah. something, right? You said you're making over 5K, dude. Why would you put that at jeopardy? You know, so makes sense. That part makes sense. So I was given three clips of these two girls. I think one came out of this 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 building out of nowhere and she just started pressing you. And then later, let me tell you the clips, then you tell me the story. Then later, you have this blue, like a thong or something in your hand and you throw it at them and you laugh. And Bro, bro, I don't remember that. Do you see what I mean? Even yeah, I don't, oh God, I don't get the context. No, no, and then there's another scene where you're know. following the same two girls, I think it is. And you, you keep asking a girl, why did you throw water on me? Why did you throw water on me? My pants is so wet. Like, this is like yesterday. I think yesterday, these cups. Yeah, this was last night, bro. This was last night. Bro, I don't remember. I don't know. But um, he obviously, I, I remember, actually, I remember this. I was live streaming and she threw water at me. And then I don't know where I got the panties from, bro. I have no idea. And so, like, when, when someone attacks me, bro, I go and press them because 
I gotta, you gotta be careful, dude. Those problems. are girls. You know this, what I'm gonna say to you. Even if you're the innocent guy, they're very easy for they can twist it on you. They say, oh, this this uh, sex pad guy is after us, and then you get in trouble with the police. Uh, no, I know. It's all over Twitter. It's all over Twitter. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that was, yeah that I was, agree. I agree, bro. I, knew, I need to say that. I know. But sometimes, bro, like, for example, last night, bro, I went too too hard, and um, I do stupid shit when I get drunk, bro. That's, that's what happens, all right? Like, yeah. I get drunk, and I, get, I do stupid shit, you know? So for people yeah, there's, who, there's who do IRL content, uh, like you are a person who gets a lot of subs. I noticed this by doing your subathons and things like this. Like, what advice would you give to people to gain more subs? Bro, my advice, my advice is to go live, go live, and then after that, snipe the top creators. That's how I blew up. Snipe the top creators, and then just make sure they like you. And if they don't like you, then you snap another one that likes you, and then. That's how I ended up here, bro. I didn't end up, it's because I've been I stopped I stopped the top creators. That's it, bro. Let's go back. And let's um, go back to Colombia. Colombia, Colombia. When you and no, it was it Colombia, you and Captain G. Was it Colombia? Where were you guys? Colombia, yeah, right? Colombia. What happened that day? You know, like you guys had a lot of run-ins with the police when you guys had those rooms. What happened there? Bro, oh my god. Bro, we did nothing. The the prostitutes just went crazy, bro. They just, <laughs> they went crazy, bro. They just wanted to attack us for no reason. And then I had to call the police. Well, actually, the neighbors call the police. Um, yeah, bro. I don't know, man. This is they just be crazy in Colombia, bro. They just be crazy in Colombia. But I'm gonna do it again, bro. Um, at the end that of this year. Seems crazy. Colombia seems like I'm, a crazy I'm, I'm place. Gonna, I'm, I'm, get, I'm gonna get an apartment, bro, with a with a jacuzzi. Beautiful views of Medellin, and it's gonna be nonstop content. With it's what I told you before. Chicks. You need to yeah. split your streams. You need to do IRL, and then you need to do pool streams. Like those two girls that you yeah, had, yeah, yeah, yeah. They would easily get views. <laughs> Very you easy. Remember, uh, you yeah, remember? I remember. I remember everything, dude. <laughs> so. Sharon, Sharon, she's still, she's still messaging me. She's like, when are you coming back? Well, oh, that girl's a queen. I love her. She's so. Cool. And she has so great vibes. Yeah, I will, I will, bro. I'm, I'm gonna bring him back. Uh, I um, I haven't done this in a long time, but I'm I'm gonna take a month off and just chill in Colombia for a bit. It's gonna be wild. But like right now, bro. Right now, what I'm focusing is, is um the Balkan tour with Captain G, bro. We're literally traveling around Europe with the a funeral car. Yeah, that's the crazy. Disco lights. Is he crazy. doing anything yeah, to the car? Like, are you driving huh? with the back part of the funeral car? Like, is he editing the car? Like, is he doing anything to the car? Or it's a straight funeral car? Like, he's not even changing Bro, it. I'll, I'll send you the video, but like, he, there's <laughs> disco lights in the car. Like, it's it's amazing, bro. This guy is so clever. Captain G's underrated, bro. Captain G's underrated. Yeah, I see, remember bro. when he did the kick car. Really it was crazy. funny. You know? Wait, you know wait, me, wait, I, wait, I wait, wait, wait. There's another streamer that's offering something to people to come for free. He's, you know, Vagabond? Oh, Vagabond, yeah, yeah, of course I know Vagabond. So would you ever go but, on, but, his, but, on his boat? Because he calls yes, kick will, streamers. I will. I will, I will, but he's... He... No, bro. He's in um, I think he's he, I think he's in like Mexico or somewhere like that. He's a little too far from me, but yes, I would definitely collaborate with Vagabond. I like Vagabond, and Vagabond likes me. I think he's a good boss. Yeah, yeah. But okay. for now, bro, I'm just I'm just in Europe. I'm just I'm on this path right now, and it's gonna be a whole, bro. It's gonna be like two and a half months till I go back to South America, or. America. But you you lucky. You have a good life, dude. You just jump around from country to country to country. <laughs> like, you have a good life. Uh, I think so. I think so. Hey, man, thank you for what you do, bro. I, I can't say it enough. No, no, no problem, no problem. So before I get to the people's questions, people asked me some questions in the chat to ask you, but I want to yeah, get go, one, go, more, go, go one more big one I want to ask. What's your opinion on Shaco Mako? Um... Shaco Mako, I, I respect her as a creator, as a live streamer. This bitch goes live so much. Like, I don't know anyone that goes live like Shaco Mako. But she's um she's delirious. 
she's psycho and she has a hairy pussy and she smells like shit. That's all I gotta say. So what happened between two of you guys when you were in Africa? You were in Africa, right? Kenya. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, well, I was with, with Joel, bro. Me and Joel, were, oh, I love Joel. Joel's my favorite, my favorite. I love Joel. We were creating, doing the cool stuff and then Shaco Mako was part of it and then she just went psycho and she went crazy, bro. And then she called the police on us and she said, I don't like you. Like, I would wake up like, Chris, you're so fake, you're so fake. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, it's fucking 10 in the morning. What? We're not even lying. What the fuck's wrong? We're just like, you're so fake. I don't like you. Blah, blah, blah. And she just went crazy, bro. Just went crazy. And then after that, I was like, okay. I try to play cool, man. I always try to play cool. And then next thing you know, she's calling the cops on us. She's trying to fucking kill us. And she went crazy, bro. And then that's, that's when I didn't I didn't make the decision. Go out there. He was like, we got to get rid of this girl. We got to get rid of this girl. And uh, I was like, all right. And so we told her, like, sorry, we don't want to collaborate with you anymore. And so, yeah, okay i mean i think it's a good it's a good idea for you to like make peace with all the streamers though because like you don't know when you're gonna see them I, again bro i don't want any problems man. that's what people don't yeah. say i don't want any problems i just i'm still gonna work hard i'm gonna do my own thing but this is this is a very small game yeah oh, and the last thing i want is for people to hate me or like why? Why? How about how about you grow and I grow and then we can grow together? That's my idea, you know. But some people they're just a little bit, I don't know. They either they're arrogant or um, they have a little bit of an ego or there's something in, in them that. They're okay, on this part, I will that. say this to you. I feel most idol streamers have a little bit of ego. That's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but why why have an ego if you can just work with other people like i mean um, dude my main goal is to travel the world have a good time and then help uh, uh, everyone around me i'm not trying to i'm not i'm not i'm not like i'm gonna be better than this person i'm gonna be better than that person i'm like i'm, I'm chris travels and this is who i am and if you guys want to watch me that's amazing I, I i i respect it but if you don't that's okay as well i just i want to do me bro i just want to do me i'm not trying to compete with anyone i'm competing against myself and then the people that um people that are a little bit self conscious they, they don't they don't they don't think the same yeah i i get you i i get you i think is you have good work ethic though cuz i've seen your streams where you do the subathons and you do the freaking push ups for, for subs and things like this i couldn't do that dude i couldn't <laughs> cuz if i'm tired if i'm drunk i ain't doing no push ups right now yeah, no, no. I'm a different machine. Though. People don't get. It. I'm a different machine. And if they want to be part of it, that's awesome. If they don't want to be part of it, that's. Awesome. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. And you, you had a a person here in the chat, right? This guy pushing progress asked me. He says, "Ask Chris about Spect. Who is Spect?" Oh, Spect used to be my mod. So I had. So when I I started to like started to grow that was my main and he was like bro i got your back blah 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 and then he started to ban people he started to ban everyone and everyone and then my cat starts to move slowly i'm like what the fuck this guy bro i i got rid of him and then he tried to destroy my life like i would book flights i don't know how the fuck he, he got into my email but he would cancel my flights and i was like i'm gonna show up to a flight and then they're like, oh, no, your flight is canceled. I'm like, what the? I never canceled my flight. And they're like, no, no. So this guy, bro. And, I, and then um, I found Spicy. Spicy is my name, mod. And after that, everything has changed. So this you spec know, guy, was, uh, again, I'm not pushing you. I'm just giving you the questions that are in this chat. People are saying that, yeah. will you ever pay back this person? Apparently, they nah. they. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna. No. No. no nothing for his time. Fuck that. Fuck that. He's probably the one commenting right now. Oh, uh, no, keep. Never know. Keep lightning. His audio's a little bit scuffed because he's outside now and using his phone. But don't worry. We can hear you. I don't yeah, want yeah, you to, um, to do anything. We can hear you, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. He's um. So, spec. Now is the main moderator for John. What's going on? I mean, I see spice everywhere, so that's a good dude that you have. Yes, spice, 
like, dude, he's my main man. He's like, he's my manager, bro. He's my manager. And then it's working out, bro. Like, look at what we're doing, bro. I have, I have, I have a big team. Bro. I have a big team. And you see me, bro. Like, okay, let's be serious. As, as a creator yourself, do you see anyone creating the way that I am? Like creating Instagram, TikToks, and all this shit. The only person I know is Sam, and even he's he's kind of like lacking. My thing to bro. you is you you need to get back to what you were doing before this. You were doing lots of subathons, lots of challenges for subs. That shit was popping off, dude. I don't know why you stopped doing it. Like you just gone back to just doing IRL because, walking because it's around. Hard, bro. Because, because it's hard, bro. It's all right, bro. It's all right. <laughs> Like it makes you tired. <laughs> I get you. I get you. Well, you're gonna do that thing with the. No. So when can you give me the date though? When is it going down? You and uh, Captain G. Um, August six, bro. August six. August six. August six. August six. Yeah, yeah August six. We'll do it with Captain G. How about Nana Pups? Nana Pups is actually in my chat now. Are you guys cool? No, Nana Pips in the house. Oh, me, me and Nana Pips, we're okay, bro. We're good. We we had a little issue together, but we're good, bro. I love Nana Pips, bro. She's my sister, man. I love her. I love her to death. And uh, I think me and Nana Pips, we're going to collaborate in November in Brazil, bro. Imagine me and Nana Pips in Brazil Ooh. with Joel. Yo! Nice. Will you go to the favelas? The favelas. Well, we're going to the favelas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to um Roberto versus the world. And uh, he has his, his best friend. He follows me. In. We're going to go in there, bro. We're gonna go I can imagine Joel in that in that setting. Like I can imagine. <laughs> can you imagine he's like text to speech? He's text to speech going off. You know that that sub goal really thing he gets, <laughs> and then him doing that dance on the top of the favelas, and all the Brazilian people just look at him like, "What is wrong with this dude?" <laughs> I know, yeah. man. I know, man. Gotta be good. Yo, okay, wait, 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 wait. We need to talk. This is also serious. Chris, why aren't okay, you in America with all the American streamers? Dude, okay, so I, I, I was born in Colombia. When I was five, I moved to America. And then um, I lived there for 15 years. And my family, my family, bro, they tried everything and anything. And then we got deported back to Colombia when I was 19. And so I had to start from scratch. And that's when I went to Australia. Mm -hmm. I would love to go to America. I have applied for America. My mom, my mom, and my dad are American citizens. My sisters, American citizens. But stupid America, piece of shit, fucking country. They think I'm gonna go there and uh, just be like fucking wet back and like work at Taco Bell. Wait, I gotta shit, stop but... you and ask this because Deepak said something like, "Whatever happened in the Banya tree that looks in your like this is what Deepak explained to me. He told me if he wants to go anywhere, they are looking at what happened in Thailand." Like it's something that's like on their names now. Is this true for you too? Yeah, or not? yeah, yeah. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I think I think it is a little true. Like if I try to apply for China, maybe that's gonna show up. But I don't know. I haven't tried. I haven't tried. But fuck, if okay. he says that, then maybe it's true. Bro. Maybe it's on a record and shit. I mean, we got a two-year probation from Thailand. So yeah, it might be. I true, just then. know it's hard to go to America. Like they want to show they want you have to show you have a real job with like a three month bank well, statement. Well, let me tell you, bro. No, no, they, 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 no, no. It's not even the job. They want you to, to have a, a home somewhere so you can go back. But mm -hmm. look, if I don't get approved, bro, I'm gonna cross the border on live stream. No, dude, no, don't do that, dude. Uh, yeah, don't yeah, do yeah. That. Bro, go to Canada. I then. My family, bro. Can you go to five years? Five years since I've seen my family. Five years since I've seen my family, bro. I'm gonna cross the border. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's crazy. I'm just so nice, crazy, dude. I don't want you to get locked up because then we lose content. We <laughs> you get locked up. Tell them come no, to Mexico. No, no, this is what happens when you Can't cross you the border. Can't you meet in Mexico? Well, this, I have a lot of friends that cross the border. You cross the border and they just, they just spit you back out. Like, they're not going to take you to jail and shit. But I mean... I'm going to do it, bro. I'm going to do it. I don't give a fuck. I, do I need to see my family. <laughs> I don't want to ask you, but I ask I you. Would you do it on live stream? <laughs> yeah, bro, of course. I'm, I'm going to have the fucking Starlink right here, bro. I'm going <laughs> to no. do it on live stream, of course. I'm gonna, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do I don't give a fuck, bro. It, it, dude, this December, I'm going to apply again. If I don't get approved, I'm going to cross the border. Because, like, I only ask you all those questions because America has a lot of streamers you can collaborate with, too, you know? 
There's like Dude, Mondo, Faldo. The New York scene, there's imagine so many streamers be, in New York. Imagine you know? me with AC7, bro. Imagine with me with AC7, bro. We're family, bro. We'll fucking be family. We're like, we're like, Italy is weird, bro. Yeah, I think Action crazy, Man would be able to, to, to have you like in the tour and stuff like that. He's, he of does. Course. He knows me already, bro. Yeah, no, he knows me, bro. He knows me. I know, I know. There's so much I can do in America. Um, but it's kind of crazy, though, like, as a, as a streamer myself, I'm still out here mm. growing, even though I'm not out there where the big people are at. Nah, you keep in your own lane. You're okay. Because, like, let's be, like, let, wait, wait, I got to ask this question, too. You know, when you had all yeah. your dramas, and then you said, I'm going to go, and I'm going to leave Sam and everything, and I'm going to be by myself. Did you think, like, did you believe in yourself you would be able to keep the viewership? Or did you think, like, I will go down, yeah. no one's going to watch me? Bro, I already had the viewership before Sam, bro. Sam no, but you understand, like, it was I, a big I, moment. I'm thinking, I'm I trying got, to ask you, did you think they would turn on you? Followers. Bro, I got more followers hanging out with Joel than I did with Sam. Whoa, that's interesting. I mean, but Joel is loved, though. Joel, is, see, Joel always wins all the time. Everyone loves Joel. I know, I know, I know, I know. But so converting those must yeah. have been easier for you. But, but, uh, but, bro, like, like, the only reason why I, I did the things I did with Sam is because he, he promised me a lot of money. And I was like, all right, I'll do this, I'll do that. But now that I have KSCIP, bro, like, it's, yeah. it's completely different. What would you say, like, to Kick and Eddie and stuff about KSCIP? I love them. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, no, there's nothing bad to say about it. I, I love it. And um, it's, 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 I don't know. People say that Kick is going to die, but I think Kick is only, it's only going to get bigger and bigger. Like, yeah, I, th- I, no, I, I don't I think he's going to die. Like, I think he's like comes, naysayers. Bro. It's like, you know, when you play video games I, I, and people say, this game is dead, this game is dead. But 10 years later, people are still playing it. So I think it's like that. Yeah, I think, I think Kick is like TikTok. You remember TikTok when everyone's like, yo, this is just a joke. And now look at TikTok. I see kick like that, bro. Like, give it some time. Give it some time. And uh, it's on top. Bro. And uh, I'm grateful to be maybe one or two or three percent of the people top on kick. And, yeah. Can't be do you do you watch any streamers like as a viewer? Bro, I do, bro. I watch everyone. I watch everyone. Whenever I don't stream, I but I, I tune in, but it's not like it's like one, two, three, four minutes. Okay. But I don't sit there and watch them. All, but but I, I watch them just to analyze. You know, like as a creator, you mm. have to you have to watch other people that are doing better than you, so you can mm. not only replicate but learn from what they're doing, so you can do it yourself. Um, and that's what I do. I just I just watch here and there and see what's going on. But I don't really sit there and watch them all day. When you were with Sam one day, you looked directly at the camera and you talked to us. He went to sleep. You said, guys, everyone on Kick bots. Do you still believe this? Yes, yes, yes. You don't think Sam bots? Come on. You don't think, come on, bro. You don't think Sam bots, bro? Everybody who else? Bots, who else do you think bot? Now you're saying this. Who else do you think bots? The only, the only person that I know doesn't bother is Ice Poseidon. He doesn't bother. Um, but Neon, Neon bots, probably Vitaly. Um, but within our circle, that bots, oh my God, fucking murder, murder, bro, murder. Come on, bro. Murder bots so bad. Like his viewership is 500 and something, 600. His chat doesn't even move, bro, for like three minutes. It was like just sitting there like murder bots for sure. I don't know who the fuck watches Marta. Like, guy's dead. Um, do you think, do you think people bought Deepak your... Bots. Ooh. Okay. What makes you say Deepak bots? I think Deepak bots. It's just that your chest not moving as fast as it should, bro. Slight game, bro. Slight game is body like a motherfucker. Slight game, bro. Slight game is body like a motherfucker. How about... I'm just going to give you some names to see what you say. How about EBZ? Uh, I don't know. I don't really watch EBZ that much, but I, I'm sure he bought. Oh, Moises, Moises, Gary. They all bought, they all bought. There's no way, bro. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way their chance for being so slow and they're, they're watching. 
there's there's no way there's no way a thousand viewers in your chat's moving slower than when i got 50 viewers it makes no sense but ebz ebz probably yeah ebc probably yeah so i'm shocked this chat still hasn't asked a question like that was really big information you just gave there do you think anyone bots you like maybe they hate you so they bought yeah, you yeah, like this yeah, I, I get i get bought it i get better thoughts sometimes yeah, yeah 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 whenever my chat fucking whenever like right, right now we have 534 but my shit's moving bro my shit's moving pretty fast um it's real but whenever it's it's over like a thousand i definitely got bought it by someone I pretty much, I don't see anyone saying anything much more in the chat. I think I'm going to stop here. You've given us so much information, dude. Now listen carefully. I'm I love you, too. bro. I love you. I love you. I love you. Hey, I'm, so, I'm happy I did this, bro. I, um, I'm sorry that I, I, I tried to like change the times and all that stuff, but I love that you, That doesn't matter, God dude. bless you, dude. I, I respect matter. so much what you do, bro. No, w clips in the chat, bro. You're, you're awesome. Bro. You're awesome. Yeah, so I'm going to try, so yeah. try and put it on YouTube uh, in eventually. But this is what I'm also saying to you. Listen carefully, I'm going to say to you. We built that bridge. I'm trying to build bridges to streamers so that one day we can re-come back to this. Because you're going to now have your trip with Captain G. When you finish this trip, I'll call you here for like 10, 15 minutes. And you tell me how was it. I can talk about some of the moments you had. Like this. You understand? Like, I want to build a network, like a relation relationship with all the streamers. Think of it that way. Okay, it's not a one and done. Bye, Chris. I don't want anything to do with you. No, that's not that's not what I'm doing. I know, I know, I know, bro. And, I, and that's the same thing with me. Like from my heart, bro. Like you're you're a good dude, and I respect your your um your not only your charisma, bro, but your work ethic. Your work ethic is crazy, bro. You are the number one kick channel on YouTube, bro. So like, don't ever forget that, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's nice to see some streamers who aren't like, you leech, you're stealing my content. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying. That's all. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm up, I'm up on sense. I'm... If you win, I win. If I win, you win. We all win together, bro. I'm abundance. I'm not like these people that are um negative, negative mentality, bro.